Next up is question 29 for passage 3. Question 29 asks, what is a main idea of the seventh paragraph, lines 62 to 73? We are ready to go with this question because we've written main ideas for basically every paragraph in this passage. Let's go check out what we wrote. Um, so for uh, paragraph 7, 62 to 73, uh, we wrote future studies and unknowns. Okay, so I'm remembering now that this paragraph was about uh, what we didn't know and how we were going to find out uh, what we do know and what we can learn in the future. Um, so we want an answer choice that reflects uh, both of those things. Let's check out our answer choices with that in mind. Uh, choice A says different types of hierarchies exist in each flock of birds. All right, we didn't hear anything about hierarchies and we really didn't talk about different flocks of birds, so choice A is not good enough for this paragraph. How about mistakes can happen when long-winged birds create a V formation? Again, we're not really talking about the formations of the birds in this paragraph. We're talking about future studies, not the one we just conducted. So B is also going to be incorrect. Choice C reads, future research will help scientists to better understand V formations. This one I like. Uh, it's saying that we need to better understand these V formations and that there's future research to be conducted, which are our two uh, key items uh, when looking back at our main idea. Let's check choice D, but I'm feeling good about choice C. Choice D says, long-winged birds watch the lead bird closely to keep a V formation intact. This is, again, about how those formations stay together, not really about the future research research that scientists are going to be doing. So D is wrong, and that means C is definitely our uh, correct answer for this question.